going on guys? Well, I wanted to uh, make a video talking about my eating disorder. Um, it's a very serious topic. Before I get into it, uh, I'm going to suggest you watch the entire video. What often uh, happens here on YouTube is someone will see a title of a video, it will sound interesting to them, they'll click on it, have an idea already what the video is going to be about, watch a few seconds, make an assumption as to what the rest of the video is, and then they'll leave. Sometimes they'll post a comment, sometimes they won't. But um, most people don't watch an entire video. So I am going to encourage you to watch the entire video, specifically if you're going to comment on this. If you're not going to comment, do what you want. But if you're going to comment, you should really have all the information before you do so, right? So anyway, um, I did a video, the story time video, on my uh, cheat day or days. And, um, and, you know, pretty much ate everything in sight and drank a lot and consumed a lot of calories and uh, gained some weight. So, a lot of the comments on the video, and unfortunately the comment section of a video does not represent the people who watch the video. It only represents the people who feel the need to comment. So, there's no correlation with the viewers and the comments, necessarily. And sometimes I have to remember that. There's a lot of people who watch the videos who have a totally different opinion on something. They just don't comment. A lot of people don't comment on YouTube. But anyway, um, the other thing I have to constantly remind myself is that the internet is a collaboration of all humankind. Uh, all people from literally five, six-year-old kids all the way up to 95-year-old seniors from North Africa to Southern Ireland. You know what I mean? It's people all around the world of every background, of every educational uh, background, social backgrounds, I mean, different societies, different religions, different people. And that's why there's so much fighting on the internet, because people have totally different lifestyles, and sometimes you cannot understand other people and what they do and why they do it. Uh, for example, um, if you don't smoke, and you watch a video of someone smoking, and you don't have smoke in your life at all, you just have no understanding of it. And a lot of times there's a lot of ignorance, and that goes for every subject, not just smoking. People are quite ignorant. Um, including myself. I'm ignorant to a lot of different things that go on in the world, and I don't always comment on them, because more times than not, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll put my foot in my mouth, and I'll make an assumption, like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. I'm human. You know, I, I make those mistakes, and so do you. But uh, the reason I'm making this video is to kind of respond to the comments. A lot of people comment and basically said that they were shocked, and that I have a, an eating disorder and a, a mental problem and bad relationship with food and you know that I should seek you know medical help um, so here's here's my opinion on the, the subject my entire life ever since let's say second or third grade I've always been fat okay uh, I was a fat kid uh, I was a fat child, I was a fat teenager, I was a fat young adult, and I was a fat adult. Pretty much my entire life I was fat, and by the time I hit like middle school, I was more than 100 pounds overweight, which makes me obese, okay, morbidly obese. Like the medical community doesn't understand why we're still living, right? You're over 100 pounds overweight, how are you even alive, right? And obviously, as years go on by, the population of obese people and fatties have exploded. There's more fatties than ever. There's probably more fat people right now than there are skinny people, um, at least in many countries all around the world. And by the way, I don't think America, if you're uh, outside America and, and you want to um, remind us that we're the fattest country in the world, I don't think we are anymore. I think someone's beat us to that. But anyway, uh, so... The backstory on me in my life is fat. I've only known fat my whole life. Now, this is not because of my parents. Uh, in fact, growing up, my parents um, offered lots of healthy options all the time. They would uh, yell at me when I you know, ate in abundance. I've always had a poor relationship with food. I love food. I'm a foodie. I really, really enjoy food, all kinds of food. I'm constantly wanting to try new things. I really enjoy it. Like when I'm eating, it's not to survive. You know, the whole like um, live to eat or eat to live thing. People bring that up all the time. You know, we're supposed to be, uh, you know, eating to live, not living to eat. Um, it's just uh, a lot of people, things revolve around food. A lot of times uh, families, you know, occasions. It's, uh, it's not so much, hey, who's coming to the party? It's who's bringing what? 
Who's making the lasagna? Who's making the meatballs? You know, who's bringing the cheese and crackers? I don't know. It's just food plays such a big role in a lot of people's lives, you know? Everything social revolves around food and drink, right? What are you gonna do? You gotta go out to the bar. What are you gonna do? You gotta eat with friends and family. You gotta drink, right? You gotta be social. You go out to dinner with people, you know? You go to the bowling alley. What do you do? You eat at the bowling alley, you know? You eat at the movies. You eat here, you eat there. Uh, food is a big part of American culture and certainly other cultures all around the world. Um, but my relationship with food has always been a selfish one. Uh, I can enjoy food in small quantities, uh, but I've always had an excess. It's always been like, this is delicious, I'm gonna eat until I'm full. And most of my life, I didn't even know what full was. I, you know what I mean? Like some people out there, they'll eat a meal, they'll enjoy it, but once they start feeling full, they're done. To me, it was, it was, I had all the bad habits. And I've talked about this a million times for the people who watch all my videos. Um, eating late, eating too much, eating the wrong kinds of foods, drinking calories, um, snacking before meals, snacking after meals. I mean, you name it. I, I've always eaten poorly. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one out there uh, that eats poorly and eats in abundance and eats in excess and eats when they're not hungry. I eat out of boredom. I eat when I'm mad. I eat when I'm sad, you know? Emotional eater. Um, I've always been like that my whole life. So that's what I know. That's the life that I know. As an adult, I realize that's wrong. As a kid, maybe I knew it. I knew it wasn't good. I've obviously been told it wasn't good, but um, my selfishness of enjoying that, that food um, kept me going, you know? So, fast forward to my uh, early adulthood. Um, yeah, food was just a big part of my life. It's, it's what I did when I was bored. It's what I did when I was hungry. It's what I did when I wasn't hungry. You know, I always had food to look forward to. It's kind of like, and, and maybe it is a, a mental um, block or a problem. My, my brain equates happiness with food. You know what I mean? So, and, and obviously all good memories. I can tell you, and I'm not even kidding, I can tell you what happened in my past. Like, let's say you said, I don't know, um, when you went to Disney the first time, you know? I remember what I ate when I went to Disney. I remember a lot of my memories by the food. I can look at a picture of food, uh, something I ate, you know, three, four years ago, and I can tell you what I did that day. So yeah, maybe I have an unhealthy relationship with food but I'm rectifying that. Do you know what I mean? I'm working very hard and being successful at changing that in my life and not focusing on food so much. Um, you know, all the years that I was an adult and I was single, that's how I, I, you know, spent my time entertaining myself and eating. And eating itself was a form of entertainment. At some point I said, look, I gotta, I gotta change. You know, people around me said, hey, you know, you're fat, you're unhealthy. And I said, yeah, I am. I'm going to change that. And I did. And I lost like 160 pounds. Felt great. Uh, had more confidence. Um, you know, more energy. The whole thing. The whole package. But for some reason, because my entire life I've never been healthy and skinny, I was expecting more. I was expecting it to change everything in my life. And it didn't. It didn't change anything other than my weight. Yeah, I had more confidence and, and physically I was feeling better and stuff, but it didn't solve my other problems. And because of that, for some reason, I was delusional and thinking that, yeah, if I just get skinny, I'll, everything else in my life will be changed. And no, it was just a small part of my problems that weren't making me happy. So being skinny isn't happiness. It's just one factor to the overall picture that may make you happy is feeling good about yourself, you know, physically. Uh, and obviously you know, pertaining to health as well. So after that, at the time, I was dating a girl. Uh, it was a long distance relationship and I was totally stressed out. And it wasn't, I mean, it was working out, but it wasn't working out because we couldn't see each other and stuff. And um, that was it. Uh, that was over. That part of my life was over and I started gaining weight again. Um, it was just depression. That's all it was, was depression. So I started putting the weight back on, not purposely. It's just I slipped up and said, uh, you know, what's it, what's it for? I did this. I've accomplished skinniness. I've accomplished healthiness. And I was still unhappy because a different part of my life was not fulfilled. Health was there. 
Uh, money was there. I had lots of money, lots of health. I felt great about myself, but I had no love. Not from, from family and friends, but um, relationship. You know what I mean? I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. I didn't have someone to love and someone to love me back, right? So I started gaining weight and stuff, and then eventually I met my now wife, and we were dating, and I had the love. And I got married, and the love was there, you know? But I was fat again. Damn, you know what I mean? The timing was off. So at some point, uh, late last year, I made a decision, I'm just gonna do it. And for me, you know, a lot of people would relate it, it is an addiction. I, there, I'm, I cannot deny that fact that food is my addiction. I'm addicted to food. Like a heroin junkie needs heroin, like an alcoholic needs their next drink. Um, it's my addiction. It's something I look forward to, it's something that gives me a high, it's something that I really, really enjoy, and it's completely selfish. Eating to survive and eating food just to live and be healthy, that's one thing, but taking it further and eating too much um, and doing all these bad, you know, having these bad habits, that was my addiction. That was my high, enjoying food to excess, which is um, gluttonous. It's not who I want to be, but it's who I was my whole life. So to do a 180 and change who you are is very hard to do, but I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Um, the people who judge me, and I put myself out there to be judged, so I'm not like, oh, you know, why are these people making fun of me? You know, I get it. It's fine. A bunch of people see what it is. They make their own assessment of the situation, and they call me out on my, you know, my BS. But I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I, if I wasn't serious, I wouldn't have lost 60 pounds. Um, the whole gaining you know, 13 pounds, as a lot of people point out, there was a lot of water weight, all the salty foods they were eating. I retained a lot of water, and that's why I lost half the weight in like a day or two. You don't lose six, seven pounds overnight just because you're doing good on diet. It's because, you know, I went to the bathroom a bunch of times and I was eating again healthy. So, you know, it's not as bad as it seems. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, I mean, the, the whole point is that, yeah, I've always had an unhealthy relationship with food and a lot of people said yeah you shouldn't reward yourself for losing weight by gaining weight it doesn't make sense right no it doesn't but it's a taste do you know what i'm saying it's it's an alcoholic who goes goes cold turkey and says well i'll just have one drink you know i've done so good i'll have one drink now the big difference between that person and what i'm doing is this doesn't rekindle my relationship with food this was just a moment that i was planning on doing since the beginning, four months ago, um, and I did it. The point of me doing the story time video was to say that I regret it. I regret doing it. I shouldn't have been looking forward to food. I should just be looking forward to the rest of my life, you know? And I get that. And I did it in such excess that it actually helped me to understand how gross and disgusting it really is and how much I don't want to do that again. So for the few people out there who understood that, who watched the whole video, thank you. Thank you for understanding where I was coming from and getting the whole picture. Do you know what I mean? It's just hard because I can't, I want to talk to every person who watched that video individually and explain the situation, but I can't, nor do they care, honestly. They really don't care. Um, some of those people who are commenting uh, really do care about me, which I appreciate. They just didn't watch the whole video. Some of the people, um, you know, are just, it's more of a pointing and laughing, you know, ha, ha, ha. You screwed up. You're always going to be a screw up. You know, you're always going to revert back to that because you have an addiction. All addiction, I mean, obviously there's chemical addiction. There's addiction where your body craves something. If you don't have it, you feel sick. Obviously, drug addicts and alcoholics and stuff. But food is no different. Um, to me, any addiction, drugs, food, sex, alcohol, anything that you're addicted to, is just a selfishness. That's it. It's something you really, really enjoy that's not good for you. And you have to want other things more than you want that thing. For example, if you're an alcoholic and you're losing your family, you're losing your wife and your kids because you're a drinking problem, you like alcohol more than you like your family. It's really that simple. Same thing with drug addicts. Same thing with people like me, with food. So at this point in my life, I've realized that I like food. I always will like food. This is not something that goes away overnight. It's not something I can take a pill for. It's not something I'm going to go to a psychiatrist and have cured. This is something that will always be with me for the rest of my entire life is craving food, right? Wanting food. But I want other things more. 
I want a good relationship with my wife. I want to be healthy. I want to live long enough to have kids. I want to uh, be a role model to a lot of people watching my videos. I want to keep my word. I want to be an honest person. I want to be the best person that I could possibly be for everyone around me, for everyone who I love and everyone who loves me. That's why I'm going to do this. I said I'm going to do it. Since the first of the year, I lost 60 pounds. It's not, I don't consider a setback. I don't consider a slip up. It was a planned event that is over and will not happen again. And I'm very much looking forward to my future. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of make that video to, um, or this video, to kind of explain myself a little further. Thank you very much for being concerned. Um, I do have a food addiction. It's not something that will ever go away, but it's something I'm working on. And there's other things I want in my life that are way more important to me than food. So that's it. I'm going to succeed. And uh, I appreciate everyone who supports that. For anyone who doesn't understand it or doesn't get it, that's okay. You don't have to. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to post your comments down below. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll see you guys on the first of every month. And you will see the success. You will see the numbers. And you will see it in me when I do hop on camera. And uh, I'm excited for it. I'm very much looking forward to it. But, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Um, something to think of is everyone out there, everyone has some kind of addiction or obsession. There's many levels of it, but everyone has something in their life that they do or they enjoy that they shouldn't, uh, or at least not as much as they do it. So as a viewer, I want you to think real hard about what that may be in you. And if you can't think of anything, you just don't realize it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And uh, I, I truly, truly thank everyone out there who really does comment on my behalf because you care about me. It means a lot. Uh, sometimes it's a knee-jerk reaction when, when someone says, hey, you're doing something wrong. And I go, eh, screw you, you know. But it's because they care. And I know you guys care. And I know more people who are commenting about it than not are only commenting to care. They're not commenting to be mean to a stranger, and they're not commenting just to get a good joke in for other strangers to laugh at. The ne most of the negative comments actually do come from people's hearts because they're genuinely concerned about me. And for that, thank you. Thank you very much for having that concern. But I'm here to tell you I got this. So the only way to prove it is with time. So stay tuned. You can watch my Fat Man Diary updates on the first of every month, and you can track my progress. But I am here to tell you that you will be pleasantly surprised at what you see. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Take care.